Welcome to another video. We're at the Stormholder table layout again, where we run gauge one and 16 millimeter narrow gauge live steam uh, locomotives. And we're starting off here with my Roundhouse Engineering D-Class Garrett. Very, uh, very warm day, going to be about 30 degrees, but luckily we're, we've got some shadow from the trees that you can perhaps see the tree trunks there in the background. So let's enjoy uh, the locomotive. So here we see the Battle of Britain class Winston Churchill. Hurdling around the outside track at the uh, express speeds. Fantastic run of this uh, locomotive, and we'll be seeing that locomotive later. So now we have a fantastic looking NG16 Garrett, and that's a 262. 262 wheel configuration, lovely look of this, very powerful. And it's fitted with a steam whistle. Okay, this little uh, locomotive is an AccuCraft Dora fitted with oscill oscillating cylinders. Plenty of character in this little machine. Okay, next up we have a Aster Models Schools class locomotive. This model was one of the first models Aster made. 
back in the mid 70s lovely runner fantastic day uh, for running live steam locomotives and as you can see here there was uh, we had uh, quite a few people uh, around the tracks enjoying the sights and sounds quite a unique situation to uh, live steam Britannia class locomotives running next to each other So here we have the real deal, a coal fired locomotive and here we see him uh, prepping the locomotive and getting the fire started. This is a Casper locomotive. Oh yeah. 
Heb je dat niet gereed voor je moeder vroeger? Uh, this uh, locomotive is uh, specially produced to order by the Roundhouse Engineering uh, dealer here in the Netherlands. That's Modelbau Atelier Appeldoorn, and I'll put a link uh, in the description for that. And I can tell you, it was uh, it's very easy to uh, to get up steam with this locomotive. And as you'll see in a minute, it's a cracking runner. As you can see, the Casper runs very well indeed. Okay, next up we have a regular to uh, the Storm Polder circuit. We have the Roundhouse Engineering D Class Garrett in uh, dark green. This locomotive is named the Josef Jacobs in uh, honour of the owner's uh, father in law. What a way to honour your father in law with this fantastic looking sounding and working locomotive. Okay, next up we have Aster Models LMS Improved President Class Locomotive with a set of matching coaches behind. Looks fantastic. Okay, so what's better than one Aster Models Schools Class locomotive? Let's have two, a double header. There were two available today, so uh, from guest riders, so uh, they thought they'd put them together, and what a fantastic sight. Okay, they're running slightly slower now, so I want you to uh, count the coaches behind.
And yes, if you've counted correctly, those two uh, locomotives are pulling 20 uh, coaches. Okay, and while all that excitement with the schools class was going on in the middle uh, track, I was quietly running my uh, Roundhouse Engineering Russell on the inside track. Still love this engine to bits. Named in honour of one of my grandfathers, Reginald, served up almost all his life in crew works, building locomotives in the boiler shop. Okay, on the outside track we have an Aster Models Western Maryland Shea. Exceptional machines these. So as you can see the drive from the cylinders going through drive shafts and gearing to each of uh, the wheels underneath the locomotive. Okay, the last uh, engine we're going to look at today is the Battle of Britain class again. I said earlier it's a very powerful machine and uh, we've got it now pulling 14 coaches on its own. Again at express speeds, doesn't bother the locomotive at all. Of 
So I hope you've enjoyed the variation of locomotives featured in this video and perhaps I'll see you next time.